What's up guys? Boston Rideshare here. I want to talk about um, people skills when you're doing, you know, when you're working for Lyft, how how working for Lyft or Uber or any ride-sharing company can improve your people skills. You know, I was never, and, and you know, my people skills sucked. You know, I was, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I was shy. You know, I would, um, I would stutter. You know what I mean? I was just like, you know, kind of antisocial, but like, I, I didn't want to talk to nobody. You know, so doing Lyft, you know, or I, uh, it, it kind of helped me out talking to people, you know, because you're picking strangers up, you're picking strangers up and sometimes they won't talk to you, but people love to talk. They'll start asking you questions. You know what I mean? They're going to start asking you questions and you can't just ignore them. You got to talk to them, right? Guys, I know I got a lot of toys, right? Chucky, Jason, Freddy, all that stuff all around me. I'm big into horror collecting. I love my old school horror movies. I love collecting stuff. You know, usually I mean my car, but I decided to do this video in my room. All right. So, working lift helped me out become better with people. Help me out become better talking to people. I have better people skills and that can help me in other jobs. You know what I mean? So if you're somebody that is not sure about working for Lyft, you're not sure about, oh, I'm antisocial, I'm shy, you know, I got a stuttering problem. Lyft is a great way, a great place to just practice. Just practice. You could be driving around, you're going to be meeting people. Who cares if you mess up talking to somebody? You know, you, you can just practice. They're not going to, you know, m most likely they're going to forget about you. I mean, I, I've had a few, a few passengers that remember me, you know, that I've, you know, picked them up before. And that's pretty cool, but it doesn't matter, you know. You can practice with Lyft. Practice your people skills. You're going to get good at it. You're going to like it, and you're going to love meeting people. I love meeting new people. I love talking to people. It's so much fun. You can, you know, you listen to their stories. They want to know about you. You know, obviously you're not going to go out and tell them your bank account number, you know, but you're going to talk. You're going to have a fun time. So I think Lyft or any other ride share company, it's very good to, you know, practice with your people skills. Very good. And if you're somebody that lack on people skills lift can help you with that if you want to be a lift driver in the detail section below there'll be a code enter that code you'll get a bonus you'll start making money just in time for christmas you can make that extra cash for your you know get that christmas present that you want to get for that special someone you know you can start anytime there's always time to be a Lyft driver. And the good thing about being a Lyft driver is the flexibility. You don't want to drive today? That's fine. Drive in a few hours, drive tomorrow, drive next week. Doesn't matter. Guys, I have another YouTube channel. I've had it for a while now. It's called Jeff Soars. If I remember, I'll put it in the detail section below. You can check that out if you're into horror and you want to find out what this is all about. You can check out that channel. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If It's cool. It's cool if you don't like this video, okay? If you want to talk about it, leave a comment. If you really like it and you want to see more and you want to support me, hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Wear your seatbelt. Drive safe.